Look up in here, and I think we can cut these patients back. Here's his tongue back up in here. Underneath his tongue, and you can't feel it unless we cut it out, the next prominent thing is the hyoid bone. Okay? In the Old West, when they used to hang people, if you snap your hyoid bone, you die instantly. Okay? When they didn't, you'd suffocate. Okay? But the hyoid bone's back up in here. Then you start getting up into your thyroid cartilage. Okay? Here's your thyroid cartilage. The next thing's down is your cricothyroid membrane. The next thing down from there is your cricoid cartilage. So that, and even on him, you can feel it easy. You can feel his tracheal rings. He's nice and lean. Okay, so I'll let him identify it. We both identify. And the other thing too is we can crank his head back to make it a little bit easier. You can push on his head for us if you want. Okay, um, for the heck of it, even though he's easy, we're going to make a vertical cut. We'll go through the whole thing. Okay. All right. So wherever your scalpel's at. Remember, you can also find a cricoid cartilage coming up from the sternal notch up. Absolutely. So there are some people that there are not going to have a prominent thyroid like this. You feel it? I bet the next it's table over doesn't have a very common mm -hmm. thyroid. Mm -hmm. So, so the whole vertical cut thing. Get a thyroid X-ray. In fact, let me just turn this the other direction, so I'm not doing it. The thyroid, the vertical cut thing. Everybody does it a little bit different. If you guys ever see Bill Logren again, which you will. Bill Logren, when I've done a crack with him, Bill does it this way. He sticks the knife in here with the blade facing up, pokes all the way through, and just lifts the blade, and it opens it up.